So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel I'm going 12.5 Xiaomi use me 12.5 another update is out it's based on Android version 11 for a lot of devices and the devices which are supported for this build the latest Android 11 the link for all of those devices is in the description I've installed this build on my Redmi Note 8 and this is the latest update based on Xiaomi EU as me 12.5 is now actually have a lot of changes if you compare it with the first build it has the new super wallpapers it has the new options in control center the smoothness etc is now quite good everything is improved here you should definitely give it a try if you want to as you can see even it i am using it on my redmi note 8 the smoothness is good but yes don't compare it with your device because after some days redmi note 8 always gonna slow down based on me 12.5 update Talking about the things which you get in this update which is the latest Mi 12.5 by Xiaomi U21.3.24 beta version as the stable version is not released yet. Stable version gonna come very soon maybe so we're gonna install that and I will make sure to make a review but right now we have only based on the latest beta versions. Of course it's based on android version 11 as i previously mentioned you so i'm not gonna extra i'm not gonna talk about the things which you already have yes this build always has same kind of things same kind of features they didn't change they didn't edit much things but yes if you compare it with the previous builds there are a lot of changes for example let me share with you some things first of all as you can see the wallpaper etc is changed here uh, blotware etc is removed if you compare it with the china beta and also let me share with you the control center related things first of all let me just remove this smart home from here after that let me talk about the things which you get in this thing for example the app vault innovation for everyone the text is same there control center also has this swipe option available now which was not available in the first build but in these builds now we have easily we have the option to switch between control center and notification center very easily it's just up to you like that it still has these OTA updates option available so if you want to update this Xiaomi EU do, uh, Xiaomi EU builds on your device you can do it directly with an OTA update but I will not uh, recommend you to do so talking about the wallpapers it has those super wallpapers as i previously mentioned you the super wallpapers when the miui 12 arrived there was only two three wallpapers then fourth we got the geometry snowy peaks and now the latest one is weather so if all these six super wallpapers are present there but as a redmi noted user i will not recommend you to use this because it will just make your device laggy. even if you don't use the super wallpapers redmi noted is still laggy but the thing is even if you're using k20 pro and high flagship level devices the super wallpapers are always not recommended for a daily use yes you can use them for some time but not for daily use it comes with all those minui 12.5 wallpapers where this wallpaper is one of my favorite ones this is not the super wallpaper actually it's the normal still wallpaper that's why i like this a lot it has this snowy peaks option available with the super wallpaper but i will not use that also let me share with you the things first of all let me just turn off the extended power menu in redmi note 8 the thing is that it still doesn't have the new power menu i don't know why but in some devices you already got that new latest power menu but in this redmi note 8 update you unfortunately don't have the new power menu it also comes with the import option that xiaomi eu has these options to import third party themes but the thing is it still has the chinese theme store of course as i previously mentioned you it's not available globally it's not available in india it's not available as a stable update it has only chinese themes right now so maybe very soon we will get those india based updates and global based updates and global based theme store but right now we don't have this option now if you talk about the device certification that that the banking apps will work on your device or not first of all let me just check out the safety net status on my device if the safety net status is passing then it's good if the safety net status is not passing then you need to use some other things as this is a beta update so you need to install this as a custom room on your device so if you want to install this as a custom room which means there might be safety net related issues so let's just check it out that if the safety net status is passing or not and unfortunately i think so as yeah, as you can see the redmi note status is redmi note 8 device is the safety net status is not passing 
but let me tell you one thing that the device is actually certified wait let me show you by going to settings my device is certified i will be able to use the banking apps so why the safety status is not passed there why it's shown that failed let me tell you the reason behind that this is the magisk which i have installed if i haven't installed the magisk then my safety net would be passed but right now what you need to do is settings go to this option magisk hide you're good to go you'll be able to use the banking apps over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air the pain i felt is pain 